In this presentation, I wanted to give you a, a real-world example uh, from one of our customers um, who uh, owns one of our. Actually, I think it's a uh, probably. I think it's an automotive kit, although he's an automotive locksmith. Um, but he also does module work. And uh, basically, the the story um, involves a uh, a seriously uh, damaged. Uh, 2010, 2011, I'm not, I'm not sure what year it was, and it wasn't related to me, um, Acura TL. And uh, it had been purchased by a, a rebuilder after it had been in a collision. And it had um, significant driver's side uh, front end damage. Um, significant to the point where the, um, the impact actually caused uh, the... Um, the ECU, uh, according to the initial call I got, uh, they just said it was it was damaged and they wouldn't be able to reuse it. Um, they had uh, had acquired uh, one from another source salvage vehicle, eBay. I don't know which one, um, but um, so he went out and uh, and uh, did a successful. Um, clone of the data from the uh, damaged ECU to the um, the salvage unit which they had acquired. Um, he then called us and he said um, I have never seen an ECU that had been uh, this damaged. He said usually the ones that I deal with they're just failed modules. This one was uh, pretty severe, it was a pretty severe accident. And he said, severe to the point where the ECU was actually bent. So um, we asked if you would send us the, uh, the ECU so we could um, show how you would take even a physically damaged uh, uh, module um, and do a clone into a, a salvage vehicle, which would solve the, uh, the customer's problem. So... This is the ECU out of the salvage vehicle. And I don't know if you can tell, and yeah, you probably can tell, but it's actually bent. It bends this way. The impact, you can, ah, you can see it with the connectors. You can see how the connectors are uh, pushed in toward the center of the assembly. So this is what he, um, he was provided with. And uh, what he did was he um, was able to uh, locate the EEPROM, um, read it, and then clone it into a uh, a module which the or an ECU which his customer had provided. So um, he had already removed it clearly from the vehicle and out of its uh, enclosure by the time we got it. But um, anyway, uh, let me show you where the the EEPROM is on this module. Um, it is, let me zoom in. Okay, the uh, EEPROM is right here in this corner, right here. You can see where my finger is pointing. And the part number on this EEPROM is a 93C86. All right, so it's a member of the 93 family. And um, I'm going to do something that um, I haven't done really all that successfully in the past. I'm going to try and zoom in so you can actually see the part number on this EEPROM because when you work with modules the uh, the first challenge that um, that you have is finding the EEPROM on the assembly if it indeed has a uh, an EEPROM which is storing its data which is normally the case but as you can see if you look there's an 8 pin part here there's an 8 pin part here so there's an 8-pin part here, there's an 8-pin part here, there's an 8-pin part here. None of those are EEPROMs. There's an 8-pin part here. All right, so you have to, uh, you know, spend a little bit of time uh, finding the, um, the part, the memory part, um, that, you, uh, that you want to read, uh, from which you want to read the information, and then clone it into a, uh, to another module, or copy it into another module. So um, let me try and set the camera up. This is going to be a, a bit of a challenge because uh, this, these parts not only are the parts small, but the writing is even smaller. 
So we're gonna I'm gonna try and get it close enough so that you can actually see the um, the where it says 93C86 on the part. Also, um, in our previous videos, uh, we referenced or told you how to determine where pin one is on the part because you have to know that in order to um, attach the clip or in the case on this demonstration I'm going to be using the AccuThit probe. Um, this uh, this side right here is the uh, is the slanted side okay so if I rotate the module and orient it this way with the slanted side here on the left pin one is going to be in the uh, the upper left hand corner Okay, there I have position with my Harbor, Harbor Freight LED light as best as I can over the uh, part so you can see the uh, part number 93C86. I don't know why they can't use white lettering. It looks like they use brown lettering on a black part body, but um, there it is. You can also see the uh, slanted side. So I just wanted you to be able to see that before I uh, switch back to the uh, zoomed zoomed out uh, image where this does say 93C86 on the part. So that's what you're looking for when you're searching on an assembly for a, a memory part. So um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and proceed. The computer has already started, the, the software's already started, the programmer's already connected. Um, so let me bring the program down real quick and I'll just show you where we have um, the uh, going to use the AccuPitch probe in this demonstration because the AccuPitch probe uh, is a lot easier to use than the clip because um, here's the AccuPitch probe. You do not have to, in many cases, clean the part. It just goes over the top of the part and allows you to uh, read and program without uh, cleaning the part and ensuring uh, that you've got the uh, humidity sealant move removed from uh, from between the legs. So uh, let me get the assembly back and we will switch to show you. I'll put the X Touch probe over the top of the part, then we'll switch to the computer and you can see it read. Okay, I'm going to show you how the AccuTouch probe goes over the top of the part. You, I moved it down, you position it, and then you just take the AccuTouch probe and you put it over the top of the part like this, and you push down. And um, that's how you, uh, you get it into a position and you hold it while you uh, instruct or command the software to, uh, to read the part. So let me switch over to the computer screen and we'll, uh, we'll do that. Alright, I didn't start our software before so let's do that. See that start if you watch our other videos. Uh, this is a 93C. 86 and we're going to go as we've seen done in the past go to command 5 and we're going to use the get validated command the G command to read the part so let me get the AccuTouch probe in place all right I'm holding the AccuTouch probe over the top of the part now we're going to press G to get valid data and there's the data from the 9386 from the uh, Acura TL bent ECU. All right, so what do we do now? Well, let's get our salvage module. Okay, here's our uh, ECU from our salvage vehicle, and you can see it's uh, not uh, not damaged, but I will tell you that um, when I opened it, yeah, there's a sealant around the perimeter of the uh, of the module, and you, I used a screwdriver to basically wedge in between the the, uh, the cover plate and the uh, outside and um, there was significant resistance but I was able to um, break the seal and get it apart but I wanted to show you what it uh, what it looked like before there are four screws in the corners that hold it together and then so anyway uh, it comes apart and the EE prom is in the same place since it's the same module part number. The EE prom is right down here. And it's again a 93C86. Okay, so what do we do? Well, 
we have the data from the original module in the buffer of the system, system buffer. Okay, there's what we read out of the uh, the damaged uh, ECU. Um, so we'll take the ActiTouch probe here, and we're going to put it over the top of this part. Now, um, we have not cleaned this part. So I'm going to put this in place, and then we're going to... Uh... Okay, so what I want to do is, um, I'm holding it in place. Let's make sure that we're connected. So I'm going to press Q for quick view and see if we get any data which we do. Okay, so that's the data that is currently in the module and what we're going to do is replace it with the data from the uh, original damage in module. So all we have to do is program the device from buffer, which is command 2, and we press yes. And it programs the part, verifies the part, and we're done. Okay, at this point, the uh, take the AccuTouch probe off, and this module can now be installed in the vehicle. So we've just done a clone of the damaged vehicle into a uh, perfectly good module from a salvage vehicle. And that is uh, really all you need to do at that point. You put it back together. You probably want to put some sealant, uh, some RTV or some other silicon around the, the perimeter of the module so when you put it back in the car it's not going to be uh, um, affected by moisture. But the other thing that um, you saw happen was we didn't clean the pins on the uh, the 93C86 with the AccuTouch probe. The AccuTouch probe um, has got four point crowned spring loaded pins and they're very very uh, we're very successful at penetrating humidity sealant. So uh, that's one of the advantages of the AccuTouch Probe. The AccuTouch Probe is an option if you purchase our product. We provide a clip as the standard connection mechanism, but the AccuTouch Probe gives you the uh, option of speeding things up if you don't want to clean it. So that pretty much wraps up this, uh, this presentation. Just wanted to show you this is a real world example of a customer that sent us uh, his uh, damaged bent uh, ECU out of a, uh, an Acura TL. And, um, we went ahead and, uh, and, and acquired a, uh, a replacement from, I think we brought it on eBay, so we could do this demonstration so you could see it work. So uh, that's pretty much it. Again, uh, this was just a, a quick real life uh, example of uh, using our automotive kit to do a, a module clone. Um, no diagnostic port programming is uh, required. You just uh, locate your EE prompt, which Again, we provide a document which gives you guidance as to how to locate the EEPROMs in the, uh, the modules. So, um, if you would, if you like this kind of content, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, if you uh, have any questions, you can uh, contact us. Um, uh, also, information uh, about our products is uh, easily located on our website, which is arlabs.com. So, again, we. Uh, as always, uh, thank you for the time that you have spent uh, spent watching.